welcome back to a brand new episode of Day in the Bay. Today we have Detailing David Singers to learn all about our detailing range microfiber system. Now because Detailing Dave is a keen detailing enthusiast, he's actually on his own cleaning the car right now. So we're going to explain what the microfiber system is and why you'd use it. Step one is the correction compound. This is designed to cut through swirls, remove scratches and enhance gloss on paint and that's used with the cutting microfiber disc. Step two is the finishing wax. Now, like a polish, this is gonna refine after compounding, enhance even more gloss and add protection. Now, this is all used with the finishing disc. Guys, good morning. My name's Detailing Dave. Been using Maguire's products for approximately 30 years, and today helping Dale with Day in the Bay with the Maguire's microfiber paint correction system. So as you can hear, this car definitely needs a clay, and you can you can hear that there's contaminants sitting on the surface of the paint. Now we would do this anyway before machine polishing because it's good practice uh, to always clay bar the car before doing any correctional work, whether it's compounding or polishing. Solely because if there is something sitting on the paint and you haven't clayed, you are going to push that further into the paint. Benefits of clay bar. Why do you like it so much? Why do I like it? It's an essential step before the polishing process. Um, because if your paintwork has got contamination on the surface, all you'll be doing is embedding that contamination in the paintwork as you polish. So if we start with a nice, clean, smooth surface, um, not only does that aid the polishing, but it gives a better finish as well because you aren't spreading the contamination around when you polish. We've now clayed the car, so we want to step into correcting the paint. So we're going to be using the step one correction compound with the correction compound microfiber cutting disc. Now the benefits of using these two together is it's going to efficiently cut through those swells and scratches, but also it's not going to leave any swells or marring behind afterwards. So before we get going, we want to prime this microfiber pad. So the easiest way of doing that is to make sure you turn that white microfiber into pink. So start from the middle, work your way out, like this, and just get a spreader or a foam applicator pad and feed it into the microfiber. Now you do this at the start of the detail, just to keep the pad nice and lubricated and to make sure you're cutting nice and efficiently. And then per section, all you need is five dots. So just like when you've seen his machine polish with the Ultimate Compound, there's a few rules that you want to stick to. Cable over your shoulder, that way it doesn't rub on the paintwork. Stamp out the area you want to work. So whenever you're compounding, try and reduce your work area so you're really concentrated on that section. Stamp it out. Spread the product so it's nice and lightly uh, fine the pad, fine the surface. So now the surface is nice and primed, I'm going to set it to our swirl and defect removal speed, which is 4.8 to 5.8. We're going to do our hashtag passes, which you've seen in our previous videos, just to get a nice even spread of product and cut through those swirls and scratches nice and easily.
So to make sure that the pad and the compound are cutting efficiently, once you've worked each surface area, all you need to do is just give it a quick clean out to get rid of any kind of dried residue. So before we get going on machine polishing the rest of the car, we're just going to recap on what's been done so far. So we've been outside washing the car, so we used our ultimate all-wheel cleaner to clean down the wheels and tyres. We used a multi-purpose cleaner to kind of degrease the car, uh, the lower sections and the kind of grimier sections. We rinsed it off and then followed it up with our ultimate snow foam. So that was going to remove any loose contaminants before washing it with our Wash Plus. Now this gave it a real good deep clean, but also prepped the surface by removing any protection that may be on there. We then brought the car into the bay and removed the buff surface contaminants with our clay bar. Now this is going to make machine polishing a lot easier for you and also makes the car feel great to the touch. So while we've got Dave working on the kind of bigger flat areas of the car, I've moved on to using our 3 inch backing plate with our 3 inch cutting disc. This allows me to work smaller sections of the car and cut nice and efficiently without having to handle a bigger 5 inch disc in a small area. So the reason we're doing this video is to show you that we do have these products to help you if you are an enthusiast and want to take your detailing to a professional level. So now the enhancement's done and we've gone around the car with the correction compound and the cutting disc, we're now going to move on to the kind of further gloss enhancement and protection using the finishing wax and the finishing disc. But now what you'll notice compared to the cutting disc is there's more foam on this so it's softer on the paint. I'm so what, redundant what are we doing video. next David? So what we're doing next is... You can look at the camera. It's we're okay. going to take it to the next level with the microfiber finishing wax, a rich blend of polymers and the all important canubra element for deep reflective gloss so you can genuinely and truly reflect your passion. Oh Dave, you, you've said that before. There you go, you? yeah. Reflect, it's all about reflecting your passion. So how much have you put on the pad? So we're not working the surface as much as we would be with the compound, so we don't need to prime this. We put a fair bit of wax on there, it's gonna easily spread over the surface. Now. We did four motions per pass. With this, you just want to do a nice single layer of wax, as we do with even our consumer waxes. So, I'm going to increase my work area. I'm going to stamp out the areas I want to work. I'm going to set it to a slow speed. Waxing and polishing, 3.8 to 4.8. So I'm going to go to 3.8 and, and I'm going to do a single pass. That's it. And then repeat the process. Now I only ever top up the wax when I start seeing gaps in it. So just like any of our consumer waxes, this obviously needs time to cure. So what we've done is we started at the bonnet, worked our way around the car. By the time we got back to the bonnet, it's normally time to take off. But if you're not sure, just do the finger swipe test like this. As you can see, that's a nice clear swipe, which means it's ready to come off.
it for another episode of Day in the Bay. We've used our two-step microfiber system to show you how to take your home detailing to a professional level. Now remember to like, share and subscribe and tap that notification bell to be notified when the next Mugwise video is released and happy detailing.